Hi there, I'm Michael Ligovlin with FiddlerShop.com and I want to tell you about a new book that we have here that's called A Fiddler's Guide to Movable Shapes by John Mallander. And this is a very fun book. It's part music theory book, part fiddle method book, and part coloring book. Uh, so there's, uh, it's sort of a nice balance that John has struck between uh, really heavy and concentrated information, mostly dealing with music theory, but then also you know, taking a fun approach, which we're all about here at Fiddler Shop. And uh, so you can personalize this by coloring it. There's lots of uh, various coloring things throughout the way just to kind of break things up and let your mind uh, explore other creative things. So as John alludes to in the foreword, is that a lot of fiddle players, including himself, including myself, you start off by learning fiddle tunes, by just playing the melody but you're not really learning all the harmony and the structure and all, all the stuff that's going on underneath. It's kind of like if you're gonna make dinner, you're just learning how to reheat the pizza. You're not really learning how we make the pizza from scratch and all the things that uh, involve with finding the ingredients and all the stuff. And it's just, I, I really appreciate this book that it addresses the music theory and all this complicated stuff um, from a fiddler's perspective or to suit the needs of fiddle players or jazz or alternative styles in general. And a lot of this, a lot of the music theory and stuff that we normally learn in textbooks is all um, studying it from a classical perspective. The thing is, um, you need to know a lot of this theory and all the harmonic structure and um, stuff to be able to improvise and to play fiddle. I think there are fiddle music. There's a lot of kind of a mis misconception that playing fiddle music and improvising just means you get to, you know, make what up, make up whatever you want and just be free and do all stuff. And usually when you start studying it, you quickly realize that there is a lot of theory you have to understand. You have to know what chords everybody else is playing, what notes fit in those chords, what notes sound good or what are like safe notes and then what are some of the edgy juicy leading tone notes and so there's a lot of rules and there's a lot of theory behind improvising that once you learn then you can kind of you know not focus so much on but you have to learn a lot of these rules uh, and you have to get over this hump and so this book is a great way a great um, introduction I think to learning all this theory um, with that said I don't think that this is actually um, suited best for complete beginners. I think it helps if you have a little bit of a grasp uh, on how to play your instrument and have a little bit of grasp of understanding about music theory. A lot of the stuff is all written out uh, on the staff, so and there's a lot of great information about you know, circle of fifths, uh, being able to know the order of sharps and flats, knowing intervals, knew, knowing the qualities of triads and ninths and elevenths and stuff. And so there's a, uh, it, it gets a little heavy. And so I think that's why there's a nice balance of like, hey, let's take a break and just do a little bit of color. So it, it's great for referencing, but you can also, you know, just plow through it. Towards the end of the book, there are some more very, like very practical applications. There's uh, licks that you can play in all these different keys. It's a lot of uh, learning the double stops, learning these shapes, which is the name of the book, learning the shapes that you can play in, you know, in all the different keys. So there's part uh, method book, a lot of room for self-discovery. Uh, overall, it's a really powerful book and appreciate that there's um, more and more uh, method books and more books and stuff. Uh, addressing addressed towards fiddle players and taking it seriously just as seriously as a lot of the stuff that already exists for classical players. So a uh, fabulous book, we recommend you pick it up, check it out. It's A Fiddler's Guide to Movable Shapes by John Mallander. You can find it at fiddlershop.com. Thanks for watching. I hope that was informative and helpful. Yeah, if you want to buy this product, just click right up here. Right there. Do it. There, we do would it. also love it if you subscribe to our channel so we can keep in touch. It's right over there. And if you want to learn more about us, click right here. Bye, Papa Filler Shop.